Today we are taking Judy from Animal Crossing and turning her into a cake. Hi everyone, my name is Benedict Cumberbatch. Welcome to Koali Pops. Let's get started. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that like button and let me know what character from Animal Crossing you'd like me to turn into a cake next. Now originally this was going to be a double sided cake, but I think I want to do more than two characters. I like Meringue, I like Stitches, I like Hamlet. So if you want any of those three, or if you want another character, then let me know in the comments which character I should make. I thought the shape would be perfect for all of the Animal Crossing characters I wanted to create. Now for Judy, I decided to go with like, it's almost like a rainbow sherbet sort of cake. It's all funfetti, but I dyed some of it blue and some of it pink just to add a little bit more color. I just love the color scheme of Judy and so I wanted to make sure that I added those colors to the inside of the cake as well. Now this cake is very simple in shape. I'm just rounding out the head a little bit and then making sure that I create some grooves for her arms and then give this baby a crumb coat. I just love how stylish Judy is and I was trying to think about like how to create a doll cake but I don't think that would be possible. <laughs> there is no Judy doll. Now I'm going to cover my entire cake with some white fondant. Just pushed it down, worked it into the arm grooves, made sure that I separated the head from the body and then cut away the excess. Ooh, I didn't do a very good job, but that's okay. It's okay because you can't tell. You can't see the mistakes on the side. Why? Because the camera's top down. <laughs> now I decided to go with white fondant because I knew that I was going to be painting this cake. If you know Judy, then you know that some of her is blue, some of her is pink. And I didn't want to use airbrush because I'm very scared about that. <laughs> I've never done airbrush before. So I decided to make it a watercolor cake. Now in this video, I did want to highlight organizations that are helping animals find homes. Today I'm highlighting the ASPCA, so if you are home in quarantine and you need a companion because you can't go outside and you can't see your friends, then you can foster an animal and give him some good times instead of staying in a shelter. Now links in the description box, let's get back to this cake. I'm really feeling how adorable this outfit is, it's almost like like a Japanese milkmaid, like one of those, uh, uh, what is it called? Harajuku girls? <laughs> it looks like that. Maybe she is a Harajuku girl. So I just layered all of my fondant on top of each other to create Judy's awesome look. And I think the bow, actually, you know, I love the front pockets. I think they're really cute. Then I started to add all of the features on Judy's face. Ooh, also Stephanie from Sugar High Score made an Animal Crossing cake too. She made Tom Nook. You guys, this is legit. It is standing. It's so much more impressive than what I'm creating right now. So make sure you go check it out. Now usually with my kawaii cakes, I like to take the eyes, make them like low set so that they're more cute. But for all of my Animal Crossing cakes, I think I'm going to keep the eyes where they are on the character just so that it looks more like them. I love the design of these characters. Some of them are really cute, some of them are terrifying looking, and some of them are just ugly. <laughs> if I could show you the list of all the campers I've rejected from living on my island. <laughs> Oh my god, I love this game, it's so much fun. My favorite part about this was layering all of the different pieces to create Judy's eyelashes. Her eyelashes are so thick. Those are like Kylie eyelashes, I think. They make her face look bomb. Once I finished with those twinkles, my Judy cake was complete. I feel like this would be easier for you guys to replicate because it's not a standing cake. I'm excited to see you guys recreate this. Now I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know in the comments what Animal Crossing character you'd like to see me turn into a cake next. I'll see you very soon. Peace!